Is everybody here in a creative course? Alright, fantastic. I don't know who no are sir. Civil engineering. Sort of creative. I'm not drawing there. I'm nursing, diba? I'm not drawing. Creative. Of course. Joke up. Next slide, please. So hi. Maganda yan normally yung slide na yan. But to make a long story short, once upon a time, startup founder po ako. I raised 200,000 USD in venture funding. That's my claim to fame. I spent, to, thank you, I spent all of it without making money. In two years time. So, if you ever lose investor money, remember this talk. <laughs> Si Cardo ka, 9 million eh. Right? Um, so, ever since then, I left in 2016, what I wanted to do is help people avoid making the same mistakes as I do. So these tips I'm gonna give you on empathy, it's applicable if you want to build a billion dollar startup, it's applicable if you want to create an agency. So again, Carlo Valencia, we want to change how entrepreneurship is taught. Can BS Entrepreneurship be here? Yeah. BS Entrepreneurship, raise your hands. Absent. Okay. No worries. Sige, kung nababasahin ko na rin sila dahil wala sila rin ko. I think if you take BS Entrepreneurship and you expect when you look for a job, I think may problem yung sistema. Diba? Kung entrepreneurship, kung nursing yung tinay ko, anong gagawin mo pag grabe? Magiging nurse. Pag civil engineering yung tinay natin, anong gusto mo maging pag grabe, sir? Entrepreneur, kita mo? Tapos yung entrepreneur, gusto maging civil engineer. Joke lang. Are you serious? You wanna become an entrepreneur? That's why you're here? Alright, fantastic, sir. We'll talk soon. Next slide. So we teach a lot of Design thinking, lean and agile. Next slide. Next slide. So we're gonna talk a little bit about design. Some experience in design thinking. Taking a design thinking class. Yes, very nice. Okay. Next slide. It's okay. What is design, Mona? What is design? <laughs> what is design? No. Yeah. What is design, Mona? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's like the green side. What is design? Sir? Oh, see, okay. Sir, you want to. What is design? Make a guess. Design means design. Design means designing. See, who wants to give a better answer? Thank you for sharing. <laughs> it's the attempt that matters. Madam, would you like to try? Problem solving, hindi magandahan ang design. Kasi kahit gano'n maganda yung ginagawa mo, o yung pinupuo mo, kung hindi maintindihan, kung hindi gumagana, walang kwenta. Diba? Kahit na napaka-high-tech ng metaverse universe na ginawa nyo, pero hindi nila alam kung paano paano nila gagamitin para kayo hindi maganda mong design sa loob. Right? Next slide. Sino nag-grab dito? Sige, madam. Tell me the last time. That's okay. Don't be shy. When was the last time you had grabbed that? Thank you. So, mas marami sa grab. Yeah? Sino dito na kailangan ng instruction manual or user guide, tinuruan ng somebody para mag-order ng grab? 
Meron ba? Wala, di ba? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is good design. The reason you're always on craft, aside from massive marketing, is good design. So next slide. So if that was good design, yeah. what is this? Bad or bad design? Bad design. Sige. Ibigal mo kayo trick question, ha? Wrong answers only. Why is this good design? Let's see me, show me your creativity. Yes! Easy access for electrocution. Alright. Depressed ka. Yun. It solves the problem. Pwede mo. Ayaw ka na sa mga tao. Yes, ma'am. Hindi ka na makakatawid, makakatawid ka with in an adventurous kind of manner. Alright, thank you. So, huwag na po sa akin magalit. Alam ko marami mga empleyado dito. Pero napansin ko, pag hindi under threat ang trabaho mo or ang kinabuhayan mo, gagawin mo yung trabaho mo na inutos. Gagawin mo yung inutos sa'yo. Right? Dahil inutos sa'yo, it doesn't necessarily mean it makes sense. But as entrepreneurs, you need to make sure that it works. Next slide. Sa ba? Ito, maganda. This is a really good example of good UI, bad UX. Diba? Files might be day lahat. Di kalidad ang materyales. Good design, bad design. So good design, bad design. Bad. So bad, diba? Interactive, bende. Why can this? How can this be good design, sir? Is it wrong or wrong? Why is this good design? Anybody? Gentlemen, ladies in this in this bunch. Yes, ma'am. The family that poops together stays together. That's why it's good design. Yes, sir. Why is it good design? Ang tropa tayong para pwede kayo magano, di ba? Yung mga group player, yun yun. Next slide, please. So even if the materials, even if it looks great, doesn't work properly, it's still not good design. Yeah? Next slide. So design thinking allows you to create consistent good design. Next slide, please. And if you're able to create good, consistently good design, well, then you can make lots and lots of money and lots and lots of people happy. I'm not going to dive too deep into what is design thinking. I'll give you a little bit of, of an overview. Uh, but I encourage you as students to look this up and study it further. And then later I have my contact information. If you want, feel free to ask me. Sir Sean as well is an expert in design thinking. I think you run courses here. Yeah, Sean had a video. Next slide. I'm sorry, can we come back to the previous slide? Just to give you an idea, Nike, their shoes, design thinking. In Google, they don't call it design thinking. They call it the Google way. All right, huh? Pepsi as well, Bank of America has documented at least $2 billion worth of additional savings coming out of design thinking projects. Let's get next slide. See, I'll skip this one on the next slide. So what's the design thinking mindset? Traditionally, pag may idea tayo, what we, you know, by instinct, what we're gonna do is we're going to build something and then we're gonna launch it and then we're going to be able to read or understand gusto ba siya customer or not. With design thinking, it prescribes when you have an idea, don't build. Don't build and launch it because mahal. Instead, what you want to do, given any 
idea, mga startup to, mga poster, mga whatever, you want to start by learning. Understand first, sino ba talaga yung gagawa mo? Understand the people, and then, when you, have, when you understand the people, make a prototype, understand how they respond to the prototype. Next slide, please. Sige, isa pa po. And then, isa pa. So, design thinking is also a framework. The official meaning is there at the bottom. A human-centered approach to innovation. To make a long story short. Kasi, meron, ang nakikita namin, and Sean and I were just ranting earlier, very often, pag ang mga founders nakaisip ng idea, hindi siya human-centered. It is solution-centered or app-centered. Today, driving here, I was I was talking, I was uh, sitting in into a, an orientation session by uh, for startup founders. Tapos nagpapakilala sila. Six out of the seven startup founders na nagpakilala, Hello, we are an app. We're building an app. We're creating a marketplace app. App na lang ng app. That's not human-centered. Human-centered. Pag human-centered, Hi, my name is Carlo. We want to help founders increase their chances of success. That's how human-centered will sound like. Next slide. So with design thinking, you start with empathy. We're going to talk a lot about that. Next slide. Can I just point at you so I don't say next slide anymore? All right. When you run, so first empathy, and this is what we're going to do later. We're going to show you how to run, ask good questions. And then we're going to define who our customer is. We create personas out of them. Next slide, please. Tulo para, right? So <laughs> we also we also create journey maps. Notice, I intentionally show you examples here that we do some of the non-required technology. And then we define their issues, turn the challenges into opportunities. Using this thing called How Might We? I'm not gonna dive too deep into that. Next slide. And then we ID, we brainstorm. Meron ka ba dito? Like attend ng group session or whatever. Like brainstorming kayo, sabi ng isang miyembro. Alam ko na gagawin natin. Especially the organizers. Alam ko na gagawin natin. Magpa-event tayo, tapos it's the meta something. Mas may lalapit. Wala na alaos na yan. Alam mo, mas maganda. Mag-dance na lang tayo. Mas may lalapit sa pangari si Sean. Magparang concert na lang tayo. Tala, 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 tala. Two hours later, hindi ba debate pa kayo, wala na lang decision. Wala na lang decision na nangyari. Right? Yung debate na lang ng debate, meron na bang maka-experience ng ganun? Yes? No? Si Sean, thank you. <laughs> the organizers, may kumat na kanina. Next slide. So, what you wanna do instead to avoid these debates is Step one, para niya ng ideas. Bawal kumontra ng idea. Sulat lang ng sulat ng sulat ng idea. So the post is there for us mga ideas yan. Next slide. When you're done writing all the ideas down, the next step, start organizing them, categorize them, and then vote. Top idea wins. It doesn't matter that you have the right idea. Uulitin ko lang po sa design thinking, it doesn't matter to have the right idea. What matters is as a team, you decide what the idea is with the most likelihood chance of success. Because the next step is we're going to start prototyping it. Next slide. So you can prototype anything in paper. So software definitely, marami rin. Diba? Figma, Canva, Adobe, all these other things, all these things you can use to create prototypes. Next slide. You can also prototype an experience. Um, next slide. You can prototype physical spaces using paper. You can prototype software using paper. You can prototype software using software. Next slide. And why do you prototype? Why do you collect feedback? Remember that mindset? Once you have the understanding of, your, of the people you want to serve, the next is you want to get an understanding of how they respond to your idea. Next, please. So here, the idea we're providing, or the idea that was being tested here is 
ang SMS based solution. Parang pag nag-load ka, di ba sa PPA? Press 1, you move forward. Press 2, you go back. Press 0 to exit. Parang ganun. Next slide. So what does it mean really? Nagin na pa ako empathy, empathy, di ba? Nagin na pa ako, you deal with understanding. What does it really mean? It means whatever you have an idea on. Well, what I am dito. So aspiring engineer, sir, do you have a startup idea? Mr. Civil Engineer? Do you have an idea? Anybody here? Any business idea? Yes. Lady with the fantastic eyes. Hold on. So selling merchandise, cosplay merchandise, stickers. So I challenge you for today, and maybe for a week, let's stop focusing on that. Instead, let's focus on your customers. Who are your customers? Who would buy? It? Who would buy it? So I used to have students that um, with a similar idea and the problem that they found when they were interviewing cosplay enthusiasts is Makala <laughs> Pumidya na Pero magaling naman sila for eight, hindi mga students no? So they made their own stickers Next slide So let's anchor now on people and problems Next slide Not on the solution why? Why should we do this? Well, number one, building, creating stuff. It's gonna take time, it's gonna take money. If you create a cosplay, it's gonna take time and money. Stickers, time and money, right? Empathy, or interviewing people, talking to the people that you want to sell to before you sell to them, isn't going to cost a lot of time and money. It won't cost a little. So, who should you talk to? Hopefully, by now, you convince them. Oh, okay, 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 who should you talk to? Sino ba dapat? Yung mga magbabayad, si customers. Si users, pwede rin, most of the time, not the priority. But in an enterprise type of situation, you might want to talk to users. For now, customers. Quiz lang muna. Madam, since nandito ka na. De La Salle is a private school, yeah? Sino dito ang scholar? Full scholar, wala? Alright. Sino customer ng De La Salle pa? Parents or students? Sino nagsasabing parents? Sino nagsasabing students? Sino hindi na nakikinig sa akin? Alright, we still have all your attention. Thank you very much. So, parents, you're correct. Because they're the ones that pay. And if you notice, I don't know if you have this in, your, in, in front of your school, but you don't have, uh, what do you call this? You might see a lot of, and yeah, sa harap ng mga private school. Congratulations to our board exam graduates. Top 10, blah, 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 blah. Hindi para sa inyo, para sa mga bulan niyo. Walang bata rito ang nangarap na maging top 10 sa board. Diba? Hindi kayo kausap ng mga poster na yun, yung parents nyo. Pag kayo nag-anak, ay isa, malang araw yung anak ko, papasa ng board. Diba? Then kayo na yung tumitingin ng poster. Next slide please. So talk to the people that will pay. So people pay if you solve problems, if you give value, if you educate and entertain. So hopefully today I'm educating and entertaining. Um, for the cosplay idea, you might be solving the problem of mahali, <laughs> right? But you're also giving something of value. That costume you create is something of value. 
That person might think it's worth 10,000. You say it's 10,000, they'll give you 10,000, you give the costume back. That's an exchange of value. Next step. One last thing when thinking about people, oh, sorry, when thinking about customers, you want to know, you want to make sure customers, when you identify them, they are people. Sometimes people have ideas, for example, oh, we want to create this sustainable garbage collection, whatever, whatever, choo choo choo. Tapos, yung mementahan mo, sini ano, ang NGU mementahan namin, the Philippine government ang mementahan namin. May isang tao, a few na tao, na kailangan mag-approve ng project nyo. Kailangan nyo malaman kung sino yun. And then, organizations are not customers. Or sorry, customers are not organizations. Customers are people. Right? Sino yung mag-approve? Kung parang bebentahan nyo sila sa... I keep seeing my reflection kung nakuha ko sa camera. Ayun, mag-sistem nila na yung marito. Where were you? Customers are people, not organizations, right? So find out who sino ang mag approve ng project nyo, find out their goals, find out their problems, help them solve problems, help them achieve the goals. And then finally, if you're looking for customers, what kayong mag-shotgun approach. What you, all students, uh, all female, 18 to 35 years old, living in Batangas. Bro. I would just go, for example, cosplay, di ba? Everybody that attended the last cosplay event, all the females, you're down to 200 or 100 people, right? Because now, if you're able to niche down, next slide, you're able to figure out who exactly you want to help. May nagtanong na ba dito about an idea? What do you think about the idea? May isip ko gagawa ko ng mga costume para sa mga cosplay enthusiast. Blah, 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 blah. What do you think? Nine out of ten people. Nine out of the ten people you talk to will say, Oh, maganda yan. Do you know why? It's not, ha? Huh? People pleaser? Yep. Filipinos avoid conflict like the plane. Actually, baka nga they might avoid conflict more than the plane. <laughs> so, You can either say, agree with the friend, disagree with the person, at mag-ready na kayong mag-away or mag-debate. Alright, so instead people will say, sure, maganda. Sige, next slide. So empathy is not asking people about their idea. Empathy is feeling what others feel. Next slide. So one really good way to acquire empathy is to run interviews, how do you prepare for an interview, well, you ask good questions. Good interview objectives, Mune. When you run interviews, by the way, this is my challenge for you to the people that are thinking about creating something, or if you come up with a good business idea, or any kind of piece of good business idea, take a week, talk to them, talk to your target customers, do not talk about your idea. You just talk about them. You just get to know them. When was the last time that attend ka na? Cosplay. Ano yung sinuot mo? Saan ka bumili nun? Bakit? Bakit yun ang pinili mo? Magkano yung dinastos mo? Paano yung delivery? What sucks about the experience getting a costume? Yan. All that. Ask all that. But nothing about and then a costume ka na. Right? And then and then what you'll find is, kahit hindi mo pa sila binabentahan, wow, parang kahit ka nila ako. Kasi what happens is, parang mo silang niligawan. So I'm gonna teach, sorry, one, one, I'm gonna teach one concept to end, but next slide please. The only bad learning objective when running interviews is to talk about your idea. Talking about your idea is not empathy. Finally, pag-ingat sa confirmation bias. Uso sa politika, uso rin yan sa startup. Kasi, yung startup idea niya, baby mo yan eh. O protektahan mo yan, di ba? Kasi, ay pangit, panit ka rin! Di ba? <laughs> so, ingat po tayo sa confirmation bias. So, you wanna ask good questions, 
And before I tell you about good questions, let me tell you about bad questions. So leaving generalities and asking for opinions. What generation are you guys in? Gen Z na ba talaga? Tell me kung napapatrod kayo dito pag nabibigit ko. Di ba kayo mga Gen Z entitled kayo? No. Right? So if you're running interviews, do not generalize people. Napapatrod lang list sila sa'yo. How much time do I have? Okay. A five. So, very bad to ask, normally, kung pumibili ka ng costumes, saan ka pumibili? Or kung ka lang magkagastas mo? Kasi when you ask those things, what they do is they average things out. Well, yung isa, 2,000. Yung isa, 10,000. So normally, 5,000 yung ginagastas ko. Malina, di ba? So you ask them instead, tell me about the last time pumili ka ng costume. Tell me about the last time pumili ka ng sticker. Right? Magkano yung ginastas mo doon? Leading questions and asking for opinions. I think you guys know about that in the interest of time. I'm gonna skip that. So instead, you want to focus on facts. And how do you focus on facts? You ask them to tell you stories. Kasi pag nagkwento yung tao sa inyo, for sure, well, 99% of the time, totoo yan. Right? Sir, can I ask you something? You want to take entrepreneurship or you want to be an entrepreneur? Tell me, tell me when you did entrepreneurship na nang gusto ko. Actually, wala ko hapang kumimit yung this week lang. This week lang, give me one story that led you to entrepreneurship na talaga. Yung kuali ko yung kami. Yes. I started as a human. Recently lang po, nito Wednesday, Right? And I'm a big step closer to getting it to, getting her to uh, 
um, sign up for whatever I offer her. So again, one last thing na lang. Uh, can you go next, 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 next? So, oh, oh, stop. No, you, yeah. So remember, bawat mag ask ng opinion eh, if you're interviewing people for empathy. If I ask this question, how much would you pay for it? Is this a good question or a bad question? Why is it a bad question? Because it's asking for opinions. Next slide. One more. One more. So I encourage you this, when you run interviews, ask people this. Kung gusto mo talaga makilala yung tao, ask them this. Tell me about the last time you did X. Kung nagbibay ka ng cosplay, tell me about the last time na. Right? If you're promoting a bar, maybe you are a restaurant, you want to ask them, tell me about the last time you had a really great deal. Where was that? How much was it? What did you eat? Who were you with? Right? Tell me about the last time super powerful. One more. One more. Sige ba? I'm going to end here. So what I encourage you guys to do, if you want to come up with great design, figure out who you're designing for first. Not last. Don't build products and then hope to sell it. Sell it and then build the thing that people are buying. I'll end with that. Thank you very much. My name is Carla Valencia. Uh, add me, message me, or join the group Startup PH3.